Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's racing show is sponsored by um, Appalachian Academy of Speed. Go hit them up because they've got some pretty awesome kids programs going on, the Bandoleros, and you can test them and and um, buy them and also be coached by them. So go hit up, hit up Acad Appalachian Academy of Speed and also go hit up. Um, also, we'd like uh, our sponsor is Birdie Manning Motorsports and, of course, Chad Rack Construction. So tonight on the Josh Nolan and Oliver Russ Full Throttle Racing Show, Hashtag one. We have with us sprint car superstar Hunter Schoenberg. Welcome to the show, Hunter. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. So, Hunter, um, let's talk about your racing career. How did it all start for you? Um, I was kind of a traditional Midwestern kid. I did flat carts for a little while uh, and then did micros a little bit after that. And uh, that that kind of running micro sprints just kind of led into doing some sprint car stuff at a young age, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Okay, so what was it like for you to climb behind the wheel of a go kart slash race car for the first time? Um, I don't know. For me, it wasn't anything that was um, super. I don't know, surprising or anything like that. My dad did it a little bit as a hobby, and I was I was around it as a kid. Uh, from a very young age so it was something that i n always knew that i wanted to do and and i uh, was always around something with a motor so um you know and starting in the early stages of carts we did a beginner class and uh, you know it was very very structured and just teaching you the basics of racing and stuff so uh i was kind of eased into it so nothing was super shocking or anything like that maybe getting in a sprint car for the first time was probably the biggest hurdle of anything that i've done so, Hunter, how much success have you had as a race car driver thus far? Um, I mean, I, I guess it depends on who you ask. You know, I, I'd say uh, some people would say I've had a ton, and if, and myself, I would, I would think I still have a lot left on my bucket list that I want to accomplish. So, um, you know, I think success is just kind of something that is up to the person that's deciding what success is. I guess. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've won races in go-karts, micros, sprint cars, you know, non-wing stuff, wing stuff. Um, so, you know, won some races and at a local level, national level with USAC and, and the all-stars. Um, but if, if you were to ask my opinion, I, st I still have a lot left to go. Okay. So Hunter, um. Let's talk about your race car number now. Where did that race car number come from now that you're uh, the car that you're driving now? Um, well, now I'm, I've, I've been in about 14 different cars in the past year, so I've had a lot of different numbers. Um, the 2KS team that I'm driving right now, I don't know how Troy and Tammy came up with the number two. Um, I know the, the KS is the initials for for uh, their, their two kids, and um, – you know, but for me, I was always number 35, you know, my, my dad was number 33 and my go-kart was number five. So when I started racing competitively, um, I was 35 just because it was kind of a, you know, a spinoff or a, a kind of a combination of my dad's number and mine, but, uh, it's well, been Hunter, years since I've carried that number. So Hunter, who do you have for sponsors on your race car? Uh, right now, Iowa Barnstormers is the, the biggest sponsor of the, uh, the 2KS machine and, and, um, uh, my personal sponsors are Inland Rigging, uh, Eddie Gilstrap Motors out of Salem, Indiana and, uh, Marchant Cattle, which is out of Newton, Iowa, a uh, local farmer there in the area that, uh, does a lot of cattle farming, a lot of crop farming. So, um, I've, I've had those three, those three sponsors of mine for going on three years now. So, Hunter, do you have a racing nickname? Uh, yeah, 100% is my nickname. I think I got it back in 06 or 07. Um, I can't really tell you for sure who gave me the nickname, but I, I know it was somewhere around that time is when I got it. So, Hunter, um, let's talk, okay, how do you celebrate your victories? Um, I'm not really much of a celebrator. I, I'm, I'm pretty calm most of the time. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of celebrating I, i'm if if anything after i win a race i probably just sleep a little bit better at night after the races are over so uh for me for for me not much is different it's it's uh 
obviously you're happy when you win and and uh always excited to get a victory but i think um i think i i don't like losing so bad that when i do win a race it's it's just more of a more of a relief that you finally got the job done than than excitement over it if that makes sense so hunter what is your home racetrack that you race on uh, i don't really have one just travel and and uh uh race wh whatever series or track is paying good money that weekend so I, I haven't really had a home racetrack in a really long time so what is your most favorite racetrack you've raced on that hunter um i had a lot of fun races at kokomo back in you know 08 09 2010 really enjoyed that i enjoy peebley missouri a lot i think that place is fun Knoxville is pretty high on my list just because of the history of the place and and uh just just the the atmosphere of going to race there is really cool. Okay. So Hunter, who do you have on your racing team? Um my crew chief's Troy Renfro. Uh uh Peyton is a younger guy that that works on the car. Um I, and again, I'm I'm very new to this team, so I I I'm I'm pretty much on a first name basis with everybody. We've only had about four races together. So Troy and Tammy Renfro on the car, Peyton and Joe work on it. Um and uh, you know, I I travel with my wife and my kids. I would consider them my personal crew. Uh they help me help me with the merchandise trailer and stuff like that. So uh again, I've driven so many different cars uh, over this past year that um I, I guess it's I guess it's kind of hard for me to say that I have a crew just because I've been in so many different rides. Okay. So Hunter, um, are you guys still looking for sponsors for the racing team? Um, I mean, as a contract driver, you're not, I guess you don't really look for sponsors as much as you just, you look for a good ride opportunity and then, you know, whoever you're driving for, that's kind of, kind of up to them to, you know, figure out how the team's going to get funded. And, you know, some drivers, yes, they do bring money with them or sponsors with them to drive cars and stuff. But for me, um, I, I like to focus on just being a good driver and doing my job there. And, and, um, like the two KS, uh, team TKS motorsports that I'm driving for right now, they, they, um, they have their own sponsors and, and manage that themselves. And as far as that stuff goes, I don't have a lot to do with it really. Okay, so Hunter, um, with your racing team that you're racing for now, okay, so what is your most favorite victory that you've ever raced, that you've ever won, sorry? <laughs> my my favorite race, you said? Yeah, that you've ever won, yes. Um, I would say just winning my first USAC race, my first USAC national race was really cool. Um, winning my first all-star race was really cool. Uh really just the first, you know, the first, the first local race win in Indiana was cool. Those are the ones that stick out to me is just the, the milestones of getting your, your first, uh, first win in, in every step of the ladder. Okay. So Hunter, what do you like to do away from the racetrack for fun? Um, I'm really into classic cars. I like, I like classic Chevy cars and trucks. That's kind of my, my glorified hobby that's that's kind of snowballed into a, another job um usually when we're not on the road racing i'm i'm working on some kind of classic car so is there anybody you'd like to thank hunter for helping you get this far with your racing career oh there's lots of people i i mean i've had i've had so many people that have helped me throughout my career from from the early days of when it was just mom and dad to to now you know having the support of my my wife that 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 uh is is kind of the uh the glue that holds the whole deal together going down the road and keeps me encouraged and positive and then you have team owners and sponsors sponsors like inland rigging eddie gilstrap motors uh marchant cattle um i've I, you know seth and steve mott singer from eddie gilstrap motors are big supporters of mine as well um I, if, if, if I was going to name everybody that's had a hand in my race career up until now, we'd be here for a really long time. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. You know, there's, there's a, a lot of people that have, that have helped me, uh, 
stay out there on the road and, and race as much as possible. So, Hunter, who is your racing hero? Who do you look up to as a race car driver? Man, um, there's quite a few, really. I, I mean, I I think the ones that stick out to me are just all the 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 sprint car guys from the late '90s. You know, that was that was what I grew up watching as a young kid was just wing sprint car racing. So that you know, the greats like Steve and Sammy are are the obvious ones. Um, you know, I've I've also uh, really took a liking to, you know, to guys that I know now, like Joey Saldana. Joey was a guy that I was a big fan of as a kid, and 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 now I don't live too far from him and know him pretty well. And, um, man, there's just so many. Really, any of those guys that, that were brave enough to strap into a sprint car when I was a kid, I was, I was all for watching. They were all my heroes. So, Hunter, do you have any advice for the kids coming up in the racing world? Uh, there's, there's lots of things I could say there too. I, I would say the, the biggest thing is, um, you know, just, just be honest with yourself. You know, th th there's a lot of variables in racing and, and a, a lot of things that, that, uh, can create excuses and, and reasons why you, you don't run well or stuff like that. And at the end of the day, I think it's just important to only control the things that you can control, which is yourself. And, and if, uh, if you really focus on being the best race car driver that you can be, whether maybe you don't have quite as much money as, as the next kid, or you don't have as smart of a, a crew guy working on the car or whatever. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm throwing out scenarios at the end of the day, you can't control that stuff. The only thing you can control is, is yourself and, and working on your own craft and, and your own ability. So focus on yourself, uh, and, um, you know, just always, always push to be a little bit better. Okay, so Hunter, we do something kind of spectacular with our racing show guests. I'm going to go ahead and talk, do this right now. Um, I'm toss the mic to you. Do you have any questions for me? You can ask me a couple questions if you'd like. Uh, I don't know. I guess, um, I guess always being curious as a, a driver from a fan's perspective, you know, like where do you think – where do you think r racing is today? Do you think we're in a healthy spot? Do you think we have things to work on? Dirt track, uh, dirt track racing, yes, we are in a healthy spot. NASCAR racing, that's another story. We we could do some work there, big time. You know, I see. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You have any other questions for me, Hunter? I think that's it. I'm always just curious, you know, what our fans think about, you know, the the shows that we put on and. And uh, you guys put on one 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 heck of an amazing show, you, you sprint car drivers. You know. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So, Hunter, I would like to thank you for being on our racing show tonight, talking to us about your racing career a little bit, and getting to know you a little bit better. Um, I will call you a little bit to thank you in person. Um, but um, thank you again for being on our racing show tonight. Do you have a racing page that the racing fans can follow you on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you, the big, the thing I'm probably the most active on is Instagram. Uh, you can follow me there at, at hundred percent. Um, you know, my Facebook page is also just, you can look me up as Hunter Schurenberg or hundred percent, uh, Twitter, same way. Um, any of those social media outlets, I'm, I try to stay as active as I can on anyway. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to be watching this with Hunter Schurenberg, and me, Josh Nolan, go hit up all those uh, pages that Hunter's on because we'd appreciate the follows and the fans to come join him on all those pages there. So, Hunter, thank you again for being on our racing show tonight, talking to us about your racing career again. Um, I'll have you step out, Hunter. I'll give a little racing news update. And I will call you a little bit to thank you in person. All right. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Hunter Schoenberg. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, a little racing news update for you there. The 23XI team has announced that they are not having a charter next year for the Bubba Wallace team So in NASCAR. We'll see where that leads because they gave their charter to uh, Legacy Motorsports. That was effective come out today. So we'll see where that goes, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's about all I've got for you tonight. So... Um, if you would like to sponsor a racing show or be on a racing show, feel free to call us or text us at 
1-800-209-7138, or you can email us at jjnolan151 at gmail.com. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have a good night. Catch you later on another episode of the Josh Nolan and Oliver S. Full Travel Racing Show, hashtag one on YouTube. Yeah, you